because we're going to draw a bunny. Yeah, because it's Easter. Yeah. All right, sweetie pie, you got your marker? Yeah. All right, we hope you guys are gonna follow along with us. You have something to draw with and some paper in front of you. We're gonna keep this nice and easy, right? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. We're gonna start with our paper vertical, and that's because we're gonna have our bunny standing up on her back legs. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna first start with our bunny's head, and we're gonna draw a circle or kind of an oval shape, and we're not gonna connect it up at the top. We're going to leave a, a little gap right there because that's where her bunny ears are going to be. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, good. Keep going. Oh, that's a good shape. I like it. She's going to have some cute cheeks. <laughs> All right, okay, now we're going to draw her ears. We're going to draw a curved line that comes up. We can draw pretty tall. Yes, good. And then we're going to draw a curved line that comes back down. Okay. Good. And then we're going to do another one on this side because bunnies usually have two ears, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then we're going to draw another curve that comes back down. Perfect. Now we're going to imagine this line going through and connecting these two. So it goes through the ears and then connects. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're going to draw the inside of our bunny ears. So we're going to draw a shape that follows the outside of the ears. See how the curve follows the outside? And we'll start all the way up here at the top, and we're going to come all the way really close to the bottom. Okay. Yes, and then one on the other side. Good. And then we're going to make this other ear look the same. It's kind of a leaf shape. A leafy shape. Yeah. Good job. All right, okay, now let's draw our eyes. And we're going to draw two circles inside of her face. Her face. <laughs> oh, those are going to be really cute eyes. I like how big they are. Oh, nice job. You've always got to add the Hadley touch <laughs> eyelashes. <laughs> OK, and then we're going to draw a little circle on the inside of her eyes. I always like doing that because then it makes her eyes look shiny. So we're going to color in the big circle, but leave the small circle white. Okay. We'll do the same on this side. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to draw an upside down triangle for her nose. So we're going to draw a small little line and then draw a V to connect both sides. Okay, now we're going to draw her mouth, and it's going to be a little J shape. Good, that one's a backwards J. I'm going to do that one too. And then you can draw a forwards J on the other side. Good, <laughs> that looks cute. All right, we're done with her head. Now we're going to draw her body. So we're going to draw a U shape that comes down and then back up. There you go. And then back up, and then we're going to draw her arms, and they're going to be the same shape, just inside her body, and a little bit smaller. So there's one arm, so we're going to draw, yeah, inside. Yes, and then back up, and then we're going to draw another one right next to it. <laughs> She's holding it. <laughs> she did a good job. And then we're going to draw two lines on the inside of those U's for her fingers. Perfect. Okay, now let's draw her belly, and that's going to be an upside down U or rainbow line that goes behind her arms, comes back down. Okay. So we're using overlapping, so it looks like her arms are in front of her belly. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, now let's draw her, her hind legs, and bunnies' hind legs are usually a lot bigger than their front legs, and so we're going to draw a C. C shape over on this side and a backward C on this side. And that's for her her knees. They're kind of bent and yes. Okay, now we're gonna draw her feet that are coming out underneath her legs. Like that. <laughs> so it's a kind of a diagonal U. Good. And then we can put two little lines for her toes. 
<laughs> it's perfect. I like how big they are. Okay, now let's draw another one on this side. And that one was a little bit longer than this one, but that's okay. Yeah. Come back into our body. Perfect. And then two little toes, or two little lines for three toes. <laughs> we did it! It's a pretty cute little bunny, huh? Yeah. That was super easy. Okay, now our art friends at home, you guys can decorate the background of your Easter bunny any way you want. We're gonna draw three, we're gonna draw three Easter eggs and we're gonna cut out our bunnies after we color them. And we're gonna show you guys at home a fun way to do a background for this bunny. Mm -hmm. You ready to draw the Easter eggs? Yes. Okay, let's speed it up. Art friends can pause it at the end and they can match what we did. Okay. Okay. Okay, heads, we got our Easter eggs uh, drawn, and now we're gonna color our bunny and our eggs. So we're gonna use these light kind of pastel colors, blue, yellow, pink, and a green. Mm -hmm. And let's fast forward, okay? Okay. Right? <laughs> okay, we got it colored. Now we're going to cut out our bunnies and the Easter eggs. All right, we have our Easter bunnies all cut out and we have our Easter eggs cut out too. Here's a blue construction piece of construction paper for you and also half a sheet of green construction paper. And we're gonna draw our the hill that the bunny is gonna be sitting on. So we're gonna just do a big rainbow line like that over our green piece of paper. And then we can cut this out. Good job. Okay, now let's glue our hill down on our blue piece of paper. So flip it over. We're just gonna use this glue stick. And here you go. Put a lot of glue down so it won't go anywhere. It'll stick down. Oops, sorry. And we're gonna flip it over and stick it down. You wanna line it up with the bottom of your paper, the blue paper, so that matches and press it down. All right, okay, now it, we're ready for our bunny. So let's flip it all over and we'll glue this one down. And we're going to put her kind of on the top of the top of the hill so that we have room for the Easter eggs all over the hill. Because she hit them, right? Yep. Here we go, just like that. We'll glue her down. Yours is a hen and hers is a <laughs> And the reason why we put her on top of the green is so that it looks like she's actually on the grass. Mm -hmm. She's in front of the hill, and then the hill's in front of the sky, right? Yeah. That's called overlapping. Mm -hmm. Looks 3D. Okay, now we're gonna, we're gonna glue down our Easter eggs, and we can just put them anywhere we want on the grass. Okay. Okay, now we got our yellow and white oil pastel, and let's put a little sun over here in the top corner. And the nice thing about pastels is that they still look really bright even on construction paper. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we're gonna make some cloud shapes and they just look like popcorn. Mm -hmm. And they're fun to make. We're just gonna do some curved lines that come around and look like popcorn. Does that look like a popcorn shape? Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll fill it in. We're gonna use the same colors and we're gonna put a couple flowers in the grass. Okay. So we're gonna just use the yellow and we're gonna do little circles in the grass. So we, don't, we wanna space them out a little bit. Okay. There we go. And maybe I'll put one more somewhere. I wanna put another one over here. Maybe another one right here. <laughs> Good, now we're gonna use our white and then we can put little petals. So that's the middle of our flower and these look like daisies, don't they? Is mm -hmm. it daisies? I think they're daisies. They're white with yellow centers. Good. Hats, I think that might be the cutest Easter uh, drawing we've ever done. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. You promise? Yeah. What was your favorite part? The eggs. 
the eggs. Oh, those are my favorite part too. And probably her belly. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you guys had a lot of fun making your Easter drawings with us. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Bye. Boing, 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 bo